personal philosophy is essentially the thoughts that guide your words and your actions. And at any given moment, if you're faced with an obstacle or an opportunity, your personal philosophy should empower you to push through and make the right decision. So my personal philosophy is live your legacy. Well, a lot of people, including me, are just really consumed with how they'll be remembered after they're gone, right? How are people going to talk about me, my eulogy, so and so forth, right? I want people to say like, he was a good dad. You know, he was a loving husband. He helped a lot of people grow their business. He was a good citizen, so and so forth. So if that's the legacy I want to leave behind, well, you should probably just do that now, right? You have to live your legacy. A few months ago, I had an issue with a client where they were upset about how a project was being executed. They got very angry. They got very aggressive. They're calling everyone, every name in the book, but it was annoying me. It was annoying me while I was making breakfast for my kids. And I was so just frustrated with these negative thoughts. My son Trevor asked me, hey, dad, can I get sprinkles on my pancakes? And my response was sprinkles are for the week. <laughs> and I'm like, why am I saying this? <laughs> like, Why am I so angry <laughs> about this guy who pissed me off the other day that I'm telling my kids sprinkles are for the week? <laughs> and as soon as I said that, I was like, wait a second, live your legacy, first of all. <laughs> Because that ain't it. But second of all, you got to monitor your thoughts. And just ask yourself a simple question when you hear those thoughts in your head. Is this thought useful or necessary? And in many cases, it's not. 